Hey, this is Bill for Sparky Channel. Today, I'm going to show you how to replace a Badger Insincorator Garbage Disposal with another Badger Insincorator Garbage Disposal and do it quickly. And the way you can, you can really speed things up is if your mounting assembly, this is the mounting assembly right here, if your mounting assembly is in perfectly good shape, not leaking, uh, no water damage, and so forth, then you don't need to replace it. So I'm going to show you how to do that, how to change these out without replacing the mounting assembly. And to make things even quicker, you can buy one of these with the cord already installed. So that's another good tip for speeding up this process. First, unplug the disposal or turn off the circuit breaker that feeds it. Then, remove the dishwasher hose that goes to the disposal. A nut driver or a flathead screwdriver will work. Have a bowl under your work to catch any water. Next, disconnect the tailpipe assembly. The PVC should disconnect from the tailpipe without tools. So this is the mounting assembly right here. And then this is actually part of the disposal. It comes with the, this part right here, it comes with the disposal. So you have to remove this part from the mounting assembly. And this part has to go counterclockwise. This screws on clockwise and it screws off counterclockwise. You get a package with the disposal, and in the package, open it up. You get a tool. This is a very important tool for this. And it's a food waste disposal hex head wrench multi-tool. Okay, so you put it right in, right in here. And everything's disconnected now. We're gonna go counterclockwise. All right, so I have two of these tools. You can use one of these tools and a screwdriver, or if you're really strong, maybe you can just do it with one. But that goes in there, and then I'll put this one back, back here. Okay. Uh, there. So it started now. This ring is going off. So I'm going to put my hand. I'm going to put my hand underneath it. Okay. And I'm going to turn it the rest of the way. You getting that? Okay, I'm turning this the rest of the way like that, and then it comes off. So this is the mounting ring, the mounting apparatus, and it's perfectly good. So we're going to leave that and reuse it. If you have a dishwasher, you will need to knock out a little plug out of the dishwasher inlet. Just use a hammer and a big screwdriver. This is what it will look like when it comes out. If you don't have a dishwasher, leave this plug in. Before I show you the installation, I would like to show you a clip that demonstrates the mechanical connection between the disposal and the mounting assembly. Here the clip is getting started going up the ramp. Now you can use the provided hex head multi-tool to tighten it up farther and then a good way to finish it off is with some channel locks. Now for the actual installation and I'm going to use a car jack because why not? Oh, I'm going to come up with a car jack. There. Okay. So now you just tighten this up. Okay, at this point, this item here has to be up against this. Now I'll use my channel locks to squeeze the two surfaces together. See, so this is hitting right up against this. Now I'm going to take this whole thing and turn it. Oh, we don't need the car jack anymore. 
Okay, so I'll take this whole thing and turn it towards your PVC pipes. Reinstall your dishwasher hose. You'll probably have to cut the bottom of your tailpiece a little bit. I had to cut an inch and a quarter off of mine. Now mount the tailpiece assembly. It needs to point, the tailpiece needs to point straight down. It uses a 5 16 nut driver. Reassemble your PVC piping. Okay, so now we will plug in the new disposal. Okay, so the uh, disposal's on and we're checking for leaks. And there are no leaks. Also, fill the sink bowl and make sure it can hold water with no leaks. In the case that you purchased a disposal without a built-in cord, I'll put a link in the video description for my video how to wire a garbage disposal, including polarity check for the wires. And a lot of people make an error with the polarity, which can be a dangerous situation. So if you have any questions at all, check out my video. I'll put a link for it. I'll also include a link for my video on how to install an Insecurator Evolution Compact, which includes information on how to install the mounting assembly and how to install an air gap. I'll also put links in my video description for the Insecurator three-quarter horsepower disposals, both with and without the cord, the built-in cord. The built-in cord is about 10 bucks extra. So uh, you make your, your own decision about that. And I'll put a link for the Evolution, the Insecurator Evolution. That's a nice unit. And I'll put a link for cords. If you need to buy a cord for your disposal, uh, I have a good, a good idea for that. In fact, I have a video on it. I'll put a, a link for disposal cords. I mean, what, what the, I, I can get you one for four bucks. It's better than the one for $14. So uh, check that out. And I will put a link for this cool mat that goes underneath your kitchen sink. And it's waterproof. It has a rim that goes all the way around it. And it's really cool. If there's a, a leak or a spill or something, it gives you some protection to protect your kitchen cabinets. Okay, thanks. I hope this video was helpful.